Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having an amazing week. I know I am. Come off a lovely holiday weekend, nice and refreshed, and we're back in business. Unfortunately, there's no uh, Blood Bowl because, you know, I disappeared for the weekend. But that doesn't stop, you know, the channel going. It's, what we're going to do is I haven't had a chance to have a look at the information that was dropped at the Australian Championship. And it looks like it's going to be a few interesting AOS things coming up. So I hope you will be with me as I look at what's to come for our favourite game of AOS. So without further ado, shall we just get started? First up guys, we've got some extra information about Warcry. We've been introduced to another faction that's going to be within it. I don't know whether these are going to be in the opening box, but they're going to be a faction that's available for the game. And we had, I believe they were called the Iron Golems before, which they were more like from the realm of metal. And it didn't matter if they were dwarves or humans. This time, we have got the Untamed Beast. And I will get him up on the screen now, and he's a fantastic mod. Personally, I love these models. They've got a very Warhammer fantasy feel. They're very old school. So, I think I'm going to be paying a lot of interest for these. Because it's they just look, you know, proper old school 80s calling the Barbarian. So, uh, GW have said, uh, Untamed Beast, a more savage warband, uh, hailing from the jagged savannah in Gur, so they're from the realm of beasts these raiders have a distinctly old school aesthetic just like I said so they've decide, decided they wanted a realm of metal now they've got a realm of beast so it seems to be all different war bands from different realms realms, realms, realms coming together to fight at the uh, at the centre in uh, Archeon's uh, little challenge. So, they're not called Untamed Beasts for just being called a cool name. It's because they come in with little critters that come alongside them. And here is a picture of them now. And here it is, guys. It's a absolute brand spanking new beast of chaos. The old models weren't particularly great before because, you know, die, die cast and, oh, I believe the last time we were, they were done properly was in the 90s, early 90s, so it's been a while. But we all know the Furies have been redone and we, they've been shown in a set, so why not have new hounds? They haven't come out and said hounds in their article, they've just said it's a critter to uh, fight alongside the uh, army just like griffons do for stormcast and they've just called it a goat lion thing but hopefully this is a just one of say three or four models that are coming to come out in a pack for hounds of chaos because these things are fantastic looking models and i love the paint job they've done on it where they've given it tiger stripes and everything it's it's just an amazing looking model and it's just another savage part of this tribe so i am absolutely in love with these models i think they've knocked it out of the park already and then well, we've only seen two factions possibly three but they're just fantastic and i really can't wait to see this uh, set come out and i did try and talk to someone in GW about it but they just they don't give any information out so hopefully mid-summer we're gonna see this set drop but fingers crossed it's, it's earlier than that that's all I'm gonna say on that because I just can't wait this is fantastic right then guys 
if that wasn't exciting enough we've had more information on Warcry as you can see on the screen a bit of information dropped about the Forbidden Power expansion and what GW said you know is going to shake up the game a bit because I don't think this is going to be for everyone or certain parts of it is not going to be for everyone but it gives everyone a bit of variety on what they want to do I'm going to leave the more exciting bits towards the end I'm just going to concentrate on this little bit now so because there's no picture to show you so I'm just going to talk about it and what they've said is that with forbidden power there's going to be a mercenary uh, system so you'll be able to rec recruit cell swords for your army so it doesn't matter about the grand alliance it's who can buy extra mercenary so say for instance you are a chaos army so say you had a well i don't know say like a zinch army and you needed something with a bit more punch that wasn't so um magic focused you can hire cell swords that are like fire slayers so you can have a magma drop on the table or you can have you know a whole like half a half a fire slayer army as part of your own and it doesn't matter that it's part of order because like I'm using fire slayers because we heard in their fluff that they do sell out to the highest bidder so it's bringing those bits of stories into the game as well so I think it's going to be a double-edged sword I don't think it's going to be for everyone because if we're honest some of it doesn't make sense like to me now it's like I've gone um, chaos corn demons so I don't think demons would actually have the mental faculties to get a little bit of coin together to try and sell it to someone to sell, try and buy uh, try and buy mercenaries they'd just take everybody's head and just see it, see that as a victory blood for the blood god skulls for the skull throne but if you can work around it and depending if it's certain armies can have certain factions it's going to be interesting to see it on the tabletop but after my waffling on what do you guys think do you think the mercenary system is going to be a bit iffy do you think you're not going to use it do you want to have a bit more information before we carry on you know this comment section for a reason so just let me know what you guys think right now guys the bit that i'm excited about is the terrain what they've said now is they're going to come out with a dominion of sigma range which is going to be wait for it modular scenery for aos so i'm excited i was wishing this would happen months ago because it's all well and good coming out with these little sets and they all seem like one dimensional is that everything's on the everything's ground level but there's more than just stuff on the floor we we want you know 3d aspect of our game so i think this is fantastic this is fantastic looking they've said it's modular you can make them into all different things you can have um temples you can have ruins you can have ziggurats you can make them into temple pieces just to add on to the uh army or just to add on to the tabletop so i can't wait to see this i probably going to be picking up the piece we see on the screen now and desecrate the shit out of sigma over there to add to my tabletop but are you guys excited for this modular tables this is fantastic like to me this is fantastic because it just adds that extra depth to the game i don't know whether some of you are that bothered by it or whether you've been looking for this yourself but if this is the start of the range i can't wait to see the rest because yeah this looks very 
you know, very templish and very order, but perhaps like as the set pieces go on, perhaps you'll see more like death. We'll see more of the like, like the orcs, because that would be amazing seeing how they could set up their own little temples in Gur and stuff like that. So I can't wait. This is so exciting, and it gives me hope for the war cry cry uh, scenery because it looks like you get scenery in that set. And if that's modular as well, you can add these pieces together. So, yeah. Well done, GW. My hat is off to you. I will salute you with a cup of tea for that. This is just amazing. So, guys, what do you think? Do you think... Well, do you think I'm going a bit over the top about scenery? Do you guys not bother? Are you, do you rather make your own? Or do you see this as a step forward I'm going to add a little caveat now because I've said how amazing it is there's only one negative I can see and that is if these are going to be part of the scenery those steps are looking decidedly skinny so it doesn't look like you could like fight on the steps it looks like you're going to have to you know work way, way around that between you and your uh, opponent but you know they could have made that a little like you know perhaps cut out as many steps made them a little bit thicker who knows but it's a step forward absolutely amazing and well done gw right then guys that's it it was a very short video today but i just wanted to share some thoughts with you i just wanted to see if you guys were excited about the information drop that we had from the Australian uh, Championship. To me this is fantastic news and AOS seems to be in an amazing position at the moment where I would say 99% of uh, the information we've had and the changes they've made have been amazing. To apologize, I had a quick sip of tea. But yeah i just i just can't wait to have further information about this and i hope you guys are excited about this too on top of that there's gonna be a little bit of change to the channel as well so um, before i go into that i just want to say thank you for listening to the video and i hope you share this and i hope you share the channel amongst your friends you know because we want to set up a community through this channel that you know is because i want to have this channel is for the community by the community so if we can if we can you know have you and your friends part of it and you can give inf uh, ideas so what type type of um, videos we could do in the future it would be amazing um, that said I'm going to tell you about a little update that we're going to be having on the channel we've come into the end of the blood bowl mini league it was only like a warm-up to get uh some to get us into the swing of uh the game again because a few of us were a bit rusty on the league and yeah i could have done a bit better by painting my models but i have no time at the moment and yeah it's, it's my own fault it's we're it's working all the time and not enough time to paint so I've got to try and find time when I can. I got a few things to do. I still got AOS to do. I still got um, three teams of Blood Bowl to do. So that's going to be put on the back burner for a bit. One thing we are going to be revisiting is when we started doing the, the Let's Builds, because I only done two Let's Builds before we started going into the blood bowl side of it and they were slanesh and corn and they're a bit dated now already i think they were about six months old because they were on the run-up to wrath and rapture and as we know wrath and rapture has changed the points changed what they can do so it's a little bit of an old video they're well pay them old videos and they're a bit redundant now and since then both um, both armies have had 
Battle Tome updates. So completely redundant, I should say. But I even though they are six months old, I'm still getting people telling me that the points are, di are wrong or the rules are different. So I want to revisit them so we can have an up-to-date one so people can look at that. And the Let's Builds were a fun exercise, well, exercise really for the channel, which we were trying to trying to build a fun, fun but not competitive list to start us off in the armies. And we were using mostly the start collecting boxes, but we were, but because we it was coming up to Wrath and Rapture, it was we used the Wrath and Rapture box and how to build off it. So. I'm going to be doing that again, and thankfully we got the Wrath and Rapture box. I'll do that and then build it off the start collecting. But we can also do this now, I think, for Sylvanet and the Gloom Spite. So that's going to be in. That's going to be, you know, a couple of fun videos, and I'll see if I can do a few more for different armies because it was a nice, fun way of thinking up a cheaper build to start us off so i hope you guys will enjoy that that is future content and as i said already that's the end of the video this is the end of the channel updates it's the end of the video that's it only thing left to do before i go is the shilling which is we have a paypal account which is going to be linked at the bottom if you want to contact the channel whether it's to play blood bowl against me or griff or possibly barry there's an email address to contact us down below. If you want to send in questions to the channel, again, you can use that on the email. Please like, comment, and share. If you are not a subscriber, please press that subscribe button. It means so much to us at the channel. So, until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching the video, and I shall see you again real soon.